Before installing your IGBTs, first clean the surface of your heatsink using rubbing alcohol. Then cut out the guide in your manual and use it as a template for lining up your sill pads. Using pliers or your fingers, carefully bend the IGBTs into a 90 degree angle at the point where they become thinner. Right, right about there. Perfect. Ta-da! Now place the IGBTs on the sill pads and screw them in using the nylon screws. You'll want to leave the screws a little bit loose so that you can align the IGBTs with the main board. Now place the board over the IGBTs and position it so that the leads pass through the holes on the board. This can be tricky if the IGBTs are not rotated to the correct angle. Now screw down the board into the standoff so that it is mechanically secure. You may need to force the leads to bend a bit in order to get the board to line up with the standoffs. You want everything to be mechanically secure before you begin soldering so that you don't put stress on the soldering joints. Also, don't forget to tighten the nylon screws that hold in the IGBTs. You'll be soldering the leads from the top of the board. It's also important to note that if you put a lot of stress on your coil in the future, the IGBTs are typically the first to go and you may need to replace them. Leaving the leads long will help make that process easier.